We want to determine the composite function values using the provided table. Notice our composite functions are written using this notation here on the left, which if we want to, we can rewrite as the notation given here on the right. Let's go ahead and do that to begin with. So we can write f of g of negative two using this notation here. g of f of three can be written using this notation here. f of f of zero can be written like this. And g of g of negative four can be written like this. When evaluating a composite function, it's important to recognize which function to evaluate first. When it's written using this notation here, it's probably easier to recognize that we'll always start with the inner function, or in this case, g of negative two. Another way to remember this is to read this as f after g of negative two, whether it's in this form here or this form here. So to evaluate this composite function, we'll first determine g of negative two. So we go over to our table, find an input or x value of negative two, which is here, and then find the output for function g, which is positive one. So we can replace g of negative two with positive one. So this is equal to f of one, now we'll go back to our table and find the x value of positive one and then find the output for function f. So here's x equals one and for function f the output is positive three. So this is equal to three, which means f of g of negative two or our composite function is equal to positive three when the initial input is x equals negative two. Now we have g of f of three, so we'll first determine the value of f of three. So we'll find an x value of positive three, which is here, Then the output for function f is positive four. So we'll replace f of three with four, giving us g of four. To evaluate g of four, we find the input or x value of positive four, which is here, then for function g, the output is positive two, which is the value of a composite function when x equals three. So we can write this as g of f of three is equal to positive two. Next we have f of f of zero. So we'll first determine the value of f of zero. So we'll find the output for function f when x equals zero. Well, here's x equals zero. Here's function f, so the output is positive one. So I'll substitute one for f of zero, giving us f of one, which we already found earlier. When x is equal to one, the output for function f is positive three. So again, we can say f of f of zero is equal to three. And then for our last example, g of g of negative four, we'll first determine g of negative four. When x is negative four, the output for function g is positive three. So this would be equal to g of three. And then when x is positive three, the output for function g is zero. So we can say g of g of negative four is equal to zero. I hope you found this helpful.